We all know the term heart attack, we've seen it in movies and TV, everything from Don Vito Colleone in The Godfather to Jim Robinson in Neighbours, but what actually is a heart attack? Hello, I'm Dr. Ed Hope and welcome to Sick Notes, where we jargon bust medical terms. Today, we're talking about heart attacks. Heart attacks in the movies usually consist of a well-loved character keeling over and dying at a poignant moment, having suffered a cardiac arrest. That's the term we give when your heart stops. Cardiac meaning heart and arrest meaning to stop moving, as in if the police arrested you, you're not going to be moving anywhere. What you don't see in the movies is that someone should be dialing an ambulance and starting CPR pretty quickly if someone has had a cardiac arrest. Although a heart attack can cause a cardiac arrest, it usually does not, with the typical symptoms being a central crushing chest pain that may radiate to the arm or jaw, associated with shortness of breath, sweating, feeling nauseous, and even passing out. And the symptom of chest pain may be absent altogether in what we call a silent heart attack, more common in the elderly and people with diabetes, where the overwhelming symptom may just simply be of tiredness. So what is going on in the heart that causes a heart attack? Let me explain. I need to get technical for just one minute, but bear with me, it does have a point. The medical name for a heart attack is a myocardial infarction, which may sound like a big term, but it tells doctors exactly what's going on. Myo means muscle, cardial means heart, and infarction means death of tissue due to lack of blood supply. Now the last word is a bit of a mouthful, so let me put it all together for you. A myocardial infarction is death of part of the heart muscle due to a blockage of one of the coronary arteries. Now hold that thought. Let me tell you what the coronary arteries are. Now we associate the heart mainly with supplying blood around the rest of the body, but don't forget the heart is a muscle itself, so needs its own blood supply, and it gets these via the coronary arteries. Coronary meaning crown, because these arteries originate from the top of the heart and encircle round like a crown. Hence the term, don't have a coronary mate, which means chill out mate, don't have a heart attack. Now, I'm just gonna borrow Nina's heart. So if this apple was Nina's heart, then the coronary arteries would start at the top and encircle round. So I've done the three main coronary arteries and there'd be smaller branches that fan out and supply the whole heart muscle. So it is a blockage in one of these coronary arteries that leads to a heart attack. And when I say blockage, what do I mean? Well, I mean a blood clot. Your blood is designed to clot when it's outside a blood vessel, as you know, when you cut yourself. However, blood can sometimes clot within the coronary arteries. If these arteries have been damaged by things like smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, old age, or if you're really unlucky, just your family history. So if there is a blood clot in one of these coronary arteries, the blood's unable to get through and reach part of the heart muscle. Therefore, this part of the heart muscle dies. This is a myocardial infarction or heart attack. And it is a spectrum. So if just a small branch of a coronary artery is blocked, then only a small part of muscle that was supplied by that artery will die and the heart may function okay. However, if the clot is in a main coronary artery or a coronary artery that supplies a particularly important part of the heart, then this can lead to a cardiac arrest and death like we see in the movies. So I hope this has cleared up the difference between a heart attack and a cardiac arrest and that heart attacks don't always lead to cardiac arrests and sudden death like we see in the movies. If you suspect you or someone around you is having a heart attack, it's a medical emergency, so you must call an ambulance immediately. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I put some clarifications and some useful links in the description below, along with my Twitter and Instagram, which has got some more content. If you like this and want to see more, you can subscribe here. Have a good day.